the joint line, right? Right there. Toe out, I'm going to give it valgus force, and you see how I'm really pushing in here. Not as hard as I don't want to hurt her, but really push in there. And then, as you're doing that, extend the knee. What you're trying to do there is trying to catch the meniscus within the joint. Because a lot of times when menis menis you have a meniscal tear, it's usually the tail of the meniscus. And these are the people that will say, I was walking, or you know, if they're running, they're running, all of a sudden the knee goes like this. And they lock, and they go down. That's because the tail of the meniscus got caught in the joint. So you're trying to catch that. All right, so it's here. Get on that joint space. Like I said, make sure that hamstring is released and relaxed. Out, valgus, and then really, really press in there and come down. Now, if I want to do the lateral, I take the toe, come in. I'm still, my hand's still here, right? Toe's in. Now I try to relax it. Now I'm going to do is what kind of force? Varus. right here. And now watch, watch how this tibia's going to change. I have it. Right here, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is the varus force as I come down. You feel that's different in there? Mm -hmm. All right, so once again, I'm on the joint space. I take the tibia, and I'm internally rotating the tibia, not the hip, the tibia. Internally rotate. I'm up here. You start from here. You don't start from here. You start from up here. All right, I just try to get her, her relaxed. Once I got it, it's here, and I'm really giving a, val valgus, a varus pressure there. All right, make you feel that little texture, right? So that's how you do a McMurray. All right, oh, sorry. Sorry. At this time. Sorry, Ash. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So again, no sneaker. I would, I would, I would have um, Molly come up, but a feet stick. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to say something. They're clean now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now they're clean. Oh, Yesterday. Yeah. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> you make urology smell good. Holy shit. There we go. So we're going to go here. All right, for the people that didn't see it. First you want to see is where's the joint line? Get the joint space. Right there, okay? Now, she's still fighting me. Right. I, I really don't mean to. I don't even realize you're doing it. It's all right. Everybody does that. Yeah. Though, so you know. yeah. So once you can do it, you can see it's hard to even flex your knee, right? There we go. Once you get it, if I'm testing the medial meniscus, it's lateral rotation of the tibia. Now, I'm going to go where? I'm testing the medial meniscus. So I'm going to use what kind of force, Erica? Valgus, right? So I'm here. I get it locked in, and I'm actually going right across. Again, I'm not going to use as much force as I normally do. Come across, and then as I'm doing that, keeping that locked, and I'm extending the leg. Okay? If I want to do the lateral meniscus, tibia internally, I still have my hand in the same position. Right? Now I'm going to use that varus force. Right? So I'm actually coming this way. Right? And as I come across, it's... Whoa. That was hip pop. I'm going to charge for that. <laughs> it's kind of practical adjustment, right there. Sounds okay. Like a hinge door. I'm sorry. Sounds like a hinge door. Like a yes, hinge, yes, a yes. Line. Exactly. But remember, what I'm doing with the tibia, everybody, is if I'm this way, I'm coming opposite, right? This is testing the medial meniscus, so I'm really trying to torque this tibia this way. Lateral meniscus, I'm torquing the tibia this way, right? Because we're really trying to lock down that area to see if I can get the tail of the meniscus caught. All right? McMurray's okay? I know a lot of people do that wrong. A lot of people. With the valgus, you put it out? Okay. Here we go. No problem. So if I'm going external rotation, right, I'm going to be here. What, what meniscus am I trying to test for? Medial. All right? So I'm testing the medial. So what I want to do is use a valgus force. So it's here. I feel it good. I come down, and I'm, I'm actually pushing this way, and I'm pushing the calcaneus out oh, that way, right? Laterally. So I'm going medium lateral. And then as I come down, I'm keeping that force on there. Again, I don't want to do it hard. Keep it on there, and then you'll feel it. And if it, what will happen is, again, if this were somebody to have that, I come down, and all of a sudden we go and lock, just like that. Or they'd be like, wow, that really hurts. If it's easier for them to see, you can do it harder. Okay, no, I, I, can, I can actually hurt you. But the other thing, just so you know, a lot of times people come in, and I'll just palpate along the joint line, and guess what? If I have pain, not I, the patient has pain along the joint line, 90% of the time it's a meniscal tear. That quickly, no. So if I go in there and I say, oh, wow, that really hurts, they're going for an MRI. They're going for an MRI. All right? But I'm giving you too much, I give too much information. 
All right, what do we got? Apples. Apples. Apples grind test. Pam, what were we testing for? Meniscus. Right, medial and lateral meniscus. And again, hopefully, you might want to put down one here. I tried. So, what we're going to do is, again, we don't have a shoe on, all right, normally, but as we get it, what you want to do is, the reason they came out with Apple is, number one, um, as somebody mentioned before, the gentleman that left, right, you have gravity helping you now, right, so gravity is actually pulling this down, on top of that, you're going to add compressive force, if it were a really big person, I'd actually get on them, not only on them, I get <laughs> down with my uh, accelerator area, and I really press down, all right, otherwise, you just come down here, you lock that femur in, right? You have pressure down, and you're just grinding left and right, internally and externally. And the same thing you're looking for. When they go either a lock or they'll go, oh, it hurts. And you ask them where it hurts, and then you know what you're dealing with. That's you after the grind. You have to stabilize it. You don't actually have your hands on the menisci joint? So yeah, when I stabilize them there. Oh, you feel it. Well, you oh. cannot get here. This is the joint line here, right? So from this position, you can't get to the actual joint line, like I did with uh, McMurray's, right? Yeah. So here, all you can do is stabilize. Okay. And then you come straight down. Now, my, my hand is at the joint line, but it's not as right there, the anterior aspect of it. I'm more through the popliteal area, right? So you come in and you lock it in, though. You have to lock the femur down. You lock it in. You get down, and you're externally and internally rotating. And for your PD's test, I mean, what you're all expected to do is to do the technique. You're not going to be really, you could say this is from this, but you're not going to say, oh, yeah, I found something. That's what PD's all about, right? Okay. All right. What do we got? Ankles. Ankles. All right. Could you sit down? So that position I just had her in is called what? <laughs> Wrong, right? Yeah, I thought it was Oh, it should have been. All right. So for the ankle, first thing you have to do is what? Inspect. So you just, of course, you would have socks and shoes off. You'd be looking for whatever performance you guys are looking for. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you do all that. Next thing you do is what? Palpate. You're going to palpate, I would assume, the medial and lateral malleolus. Right? So you have the lateral, medial malleolus. The lateral malleolus is the most inferior aspect of what bone? The fibula. The medial malleolus is the most inferior aspect of the tibia. tibia. Correct. So we know what you're looking at. So you go down there, you're inspecting. Now, on the medial side, and I'll say some things, if they're not there, then just tune me out. Kind of like lecture, right? <laughs> so you can be in the medial aspect here. What I'm feeling for here is the deltoid ligament. Right? Deltoid. It came from the name because it's a deltoid symbol or something like you know, that. It's actually made of three ligaments. Not that you have to know that, but it is. Extremely strong ligament. Then I'm going to come into this area. I'm on the lateral side, and I'm feeling for the what? Anterior talofib, and also the posterior talofib. Which is the most um, sprained, stretched ligament of the ankle? Anterior. Anterior talofib by far. That's the one when a person comes down, usually in basketball, something like that. They hit the foot, and they <clears throat> internally have inversion, and it stretches out the anterior talofib. The deltoid is so strong. Right? If you to rupture or rip the deltoid, that's usually like a car action or something like that. You don't, just by coming down somebody's ankle, the deltoid's not going to give out. The anterior talofib, though, you come down, you get that inversion, you stretch out that ATFL, anterior talofib, and then forever, ever, ever more, you can walk and hit a pebble, and your ankle will just go like that. Once you stretch out a ligament, that's it. It doesn't have a good blood supply, so it doesn't come back like a muscle. Again, if you're Peyton Manning, You'll be going for that you know, $900,000 surgery, and they'll go in there and they actually will take that ligament. If they have to cut it, they'll cut it and actually shorten and tighten it back up again. All right? But for the rest of us, we just live with it. You tape and you move on. All right? Any other thing? Any other structures? Oh, calcaneal fibula. Again, you come to the area back here. All right? Fibula is lateral, so you know it's going to be coming from the calcaneal bone up to that malleolus area, which is the fibula. Okay? What else? I'm sorry? Calcaneus and Achilles. Okay. Well, the calcaneus bone? Yeah, it okay. just says calcaneus. 
All right, calcaneus yes. bone is your heel yes. bone. And then the uh, Achilles, of course, mm -hmm. is there. 